Hello friends, welcome back to Factory I Tutorials and in this lesson I'm going to explain you that how to pass three boxes at a time on the conveyor by using counters. So let's begin. So first I'm going to show you that how this process works. So I turn on this conveyor. Okay, so when three boxes are passed, the conveyor is stopped and when the third box is removed, then the conveyor is start again. And this process is repeating automatically. Okay, so now I show you that what I have made in the control IO. So here we have this simple logic. And if you need this logic, then the link is in the description so you can download it and run it. So here I explain you that we have three sensors item ready at entry and at exit. So I show you in factory I also. So the first sensor is this one and the second sensor and over here we have the third sensor at the exit. So this is simple. And uh, one more thing that I have taken this scene from file and here we have the scene that load and unload three boxes to the conveyor using counters so here we have this one so so i have made this logic and uh, i have used two counters so when the item ready sensor is turned on it will turn on the emitter and at entry i have connected the buffer conveyor and the entry conveyor so here we have two conveyors so this one is the buffer conveyor and this one is the entry conveyor so we have to move three boxes on the buffer conveyor and uh, when three boxes are on the buffer conveyor the entry conveyor is turned off and when the third box is passed through this sensor at exit the entry conveyor start again so here i have also used this the falling and the rising edge function and uh, here i have set the three boxes in the conveyor through counter and one more thing that I want to tell you that here I have reset this counter using its own bit that is its own output I have reset the counter so it's simple that you connect a bool with the address 5 and uh, the second bool with the same address as the first one you can also change it like I have set to 5, you can also change it to 6, 7, it doesn't matter. It is just an address. So, but make sure if you have set this address to 5, then if you have connected another bool with this reset, then you must have the same address as the output. So, only the thing that matters is the same address. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so I hope you have understood and uh, this is very simple logic. You can download it and run it. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video.